We also think that that's really an important component too because the activity level in Canada we see picking up more than we can generally across the United States. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are two drivers on that. And, uh, one of them is oil, right? So the application of horizontal drilling to Canada has actually come later uh, than what it has come to places uh, like the Bakken, mm -hmm. uh, although the part of the Bakken clearly goes into Canada too. Right. So as more and more uh, fields are located and identified that are candidates for horizontal drilling, we think there's a pickup, a significant pickup in the oil drilling activity. Mm -hmm. What we also think is that LNG, you know, is one of the uh, things out there that will help um, equalize the price of natural gas and oil. Mm -hmm. However, there's a long timeline on those projects, sure. especially in the United States. Mm -hmm. uh, but in Canada, we think those projects are actually much further along, make a lot more sense. They have proximity to Asia. You have a lot of the investors in LNG plants are Asian uh, energy companies. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so uh, uh, earlier this week, um, um, uh, you know, Petronas on their project signed the first contract they have to actually export LNG. Mm -hmm. So therefore, we think that happens sooner rather than later. And because of that, that means the activity level in the drilling has to precede the opening of the plant by a significant amount of time. Mm -hmm. So we think even natural gas drilling in Canada has the potential to particularly to pick up significantly faster than in the U.S. We also think that longer term, that's really an important driver too, because the Canadian market produces 15 billion cubic feet of natural gas a day, yeah. and those LNG plants can do between one to two B BCF of uh, exports per day. So if you put in two LNG plants uh, and you figure that out a number of years from now, you're suddenly talking about three, four BCF a day, you might be able to export on a production base of 15, that really mm -hmm. moves the meter. If you have two, three LNG plants in the United States that can that export you know, four to five BCF a day, and we can produce 70 BCF a day, it's, it's a much smaller impact, and you're really not gonna get price movements. We mm -hmm. think in Canada you do. And so therefore, that's gonna ramp up even natural gas drilling activity. So therefore, you know, that uh, competitive uh, position in Canada is an important driver and the company. In addition, Canadian companies tend to be, right, they look for places to expand and they think about the United States, but that's a very competitive market, right? It's the much, the largest oil service uh, market in the world. Right. And instead, they tend to go other places, including the Canadian independents go other places. Mm -hmm. So they go to Colombia, they go to Argentina, they go to Russia. Right. And uh, uh, CalFrac has been in a lot of those markets in certain cases for Russia for over 10 years. Mm -hmm. And those markets are you know, continuing to apply the horizontal drilling and uh, hydraulic fracking technology to them. So therefore, we think there's really good growth in the international market, because clearly that technology is not one that's going to be limited to just North America. Right. It has applications elsewhere. So those markets, we think, are great, interesting growth markets where the company has a first mover advantage. So those are really positive things.